Hello and welcome everyone to another video series of Expert Matters, officially on ISBR Business School's official YouTube channel. Today, we have the founder, the CEO and the head of design team of a Delhi-based startup, Fox My Box, who began his journey wanting to bridge the gap between the plain color choices of electronics provided by the company and the consumer's choice. And let me just tell you, his company is the only company in the Asia who does this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have Ankush Khera amongst us. Welcome, Ankush. Welcome to the series. Hello. Thank you for having me over. So, Ankush, what made you dream for your company? Like, what was the aspiration as a person you had in you for your own business someday? I was a very confused kid when I was young. I was, I was, I didn't have any direction. I had no idea what I want to do. Um, there was a time, keep hey, our parents really see, you know, our neighbors, kids, what they're doing. So, a uh, mom ki friend thi, wo banker bani, to tum banker ban jao. Somebody did marine engineering, so to marine engineering kar lo. I was a science student, so I could have gone through that. But, you know, finding yourself is the most difficult thing for us today because we lack information. We lack a lot of things to sit down and talk about. We don't talk about serious things. We talk about fun stuff. Coming from all of this, I exactly knew what I didn't want. So I did a couple of courses in my life. I, I did go to marine engineering. I left it in three, four months. I went to States, I did physiotherapy there, left within six or seven months, came back to India. It was a tough call, but I exactly knew what I didn't want to do. But there was this company called Colorware in US. I saw it and I fell in love with it. That was the start of my journey towards Fox My Box because they did not reply to me. I wanted to internship with them and they did not reply to me. So it was more like a ego trip rather than me, you know, trying to do something in my life. It was like uh, the more amount of people told me this cannot happen in India. And in the initial days, um, India did not even have mug printing or t-shirt printing, let alone we talk about customization. So, jitne logo ne mujhe mana kara, main utna strong head hota ra ki bhai mujhe yehi kar. And that's how the story started in 2007 uh, in regards to Fox by Fox. Great. So this was not with you since your childhood, but you always had a dream that you want to do something on your own. <laughs> in 12th, I wanted to be Captain America. It doesn't matter <laughs> at that point. Of time. The idea is that um, change is inevitable. Okay, You keep on growing. Uh, actually, you know what? Intelligent people are not rich. It's the information that makes you rich and what you do with the information. Um, in instances where you get to see somebody doing really well, you think you want to do the same thing and you start on your journey. And when you do that, you discover new things about it, you know, and, and you, you gain information. So... Your choices, your decision, your direction is the start of information gathering. And then you get to choose what you exactly want to do. Yes, right. Exactly. So when you thought of this idea, when you came up with this idea, what were the things you struggled initially or what was the, how did the implementation of the idea work initially basically? Oh, you want to hear this story. Okay. Yes. 2007, when I saw Colorware, um, I told my dad I want to become an artist. He said, Tere marne ke baad te ko paise milenge. Aisi line mein jana chata hai? And I was like, he's true. He's, he's absolutely right. The rare ability of a paint, uh, painter is when he cannot produce the same art again. That's when it becomes rare. It's absolutely true. But honestly, India did not have any product designing, industrial designing courses, which was available to just anybody. It was available to IITNs, it was available to at a very limited colleges in India. Prototyping, 3D printing was just a myth at that point of time. We were, we, I could see that it was happening outside, but not in India at all. So for me to understand prototyping, I had to go grassroots level. I would sit down in, in places where 
uh, people are painting cars outside on the road to see how they're painting it. I would spend six months, seven months on that. Uh, I would go to Pahargans. I would see how laser cutter works, how water jet machine works. It was it was very curious for me because I grew up looking at Pimp My Ride, West Coast Customs, American Choppers. I always saw building something in my life. Mm -hmm. And that gave me the curiosity to even understand how manufacturing works. Now, this, this company, when I started, was not just about customization, but it was to produce an aesthetic manufacturing company because I, I could have become an artist. I could have basically just picked up a pen, started drawing on a laptop, and I could have taken out a limited edition. But it was not done like how you would do um, a proper, like how Apple would produce a color. They would not, they would not just sketch pen it out. They had to formulate, they had to understand how aesthetically they could manufacture something. Right. Now, understanding the manufacturing side was different, but there was a brand side to things as well. Uh, creating loyalty, creating trust among consumers, gathering consumers, advertising as responsibly. These were a couple of things that I needed to understand how this is gonna work. So after my graduation, I did my graduation from open school, but then I wanted to go to a college. I wanted to do my post-graduation. And I went to IAMC, Indian Institute of Mass Communication. I studied ad and PR. Uh, from there, I got to understand how to do public relations, how to do crisis management, how to do brand image, to, to basically understand how to build a brand. And after that course, I, I went into digital marketing, I went into public relations, I went into digital PR. One, one year, I took my courses out, I gained the experience, but this was all planned. Six, seven years of my life was absolutely planned to intent to gain knowledge and nothing else. So that's how it all started. I wish people could have, students especially could have that mentality to learn because nowadays we see students who does not even have one person dedication of learning. They just want to sit in classes and get a nice placement. Actually, they're not wrong also, to be very honest, the kind of exposure that, that the younger generation has now in terms of bombardment of knowledge, they, 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 their head is not even developed enough to understand what to do with that knowledge. Now, we get inspired, we get triggered by small, small things in our lives. And, you know, in the slower the information came to you, the more time you had to digest. Right. Now you don't have time at all. So now you want to be all over the place. You want to do this, you want to do that. You want to do this also and that also. But at the end of the day, um, they don't get to actually sit down and digest it. It's, it's literally like um, a free flow of information is coming to you but you don't even know what to do with the information at the end of the day. Right. So it is, it is important to make sure that there's a little terav in the younger generation, terav, wisdom, all of this comes from time. Time is the only thing that does not move fast or slow according to you. It moves at a constant speed for everybody, yes. Your realization of time spent is on your mood. If you're happy, oh, time just went off. If you're sad, then the time, man, ye saal khatam nahi ho ra. you know, that kind of a thing. If you are able to control that, I think rest everything has to fall in its own time and space. It's like a puzzle piece. You can't fit a square in a triangle. You can't fit a triangle in a circle and so on and so forth. You will get those parts eventually when you're looking out for information, but you have to spend time on something that you're building. I wish uh, growing an apple tree was a day's task. I wish completing 10th was not a year's task, but a month's task. And it, is, it doesn't happen like that. 
you have to spend one year in tech. You have to spend one year in a lab. That steadiness and direction, chai zabardasti ya apne ichha se kar rahe ho, but you do spend that one year. You don't have a choice. Today, you have a choice to move from something to something in a span of a minute, an hour, a day, a month, a week, a year, whatever you decide at. You deciding is also crucial because you get influenced. There is a lot of variable around you. You get influenced, you get nudged, you get uh, bashed on about an idea, and you say, Yaar, achha, wohi kar leta. Achha, plan B kya hai? Achha, plan C kya hai? Ye nahi chala, to ye chal When you don't know and you don't have the confidence ki plan A hi hai, bhai, uske ilawa kuch nahi hai, then how would you even strive for difficulty? So I think it is all about time. It is nothing, nothing more, nothing less. It's all about time that you spend on something. Ankush, do you blame social media these days for not having Tehrav in us? I think everything has pros and cons. Um, there's always two sides to things. Social media gave so much implementation that today we are calling the next year as a creator's year. So. Today, people are exploring their creative side. People are creating back things. India was known for it. India was known genetically that we are artisans. We create stuff. We create from mud. We create clothing. We create this. We create that. And then when industrialization happened, offices, MNCs came in, jobs happened. And then everything shifted to that. And now those things are transitioning back to creators. It's a creator's world coming. So social media is the enabling part of it. But yes, because we are not disciplined, we do not have somebody telling us that, you know, we, we don't know how to use new tools. Yeah, so it's an exploration. I think everybody's doing it. It's everybody's story. So it's not wrong or right. Mm -hmm. You understand wrong and right only when you compare it with something else. Right. So yes, social media is good. Yes, social media is bad. I will be neutral about it. But according to me, it has, it has way more positiveness towards it, that it has opened up people to talk. There's no shyness today. There's no introvertness coming in. People are networking today because they want more information. They are hungry for it. I think that nothing else could have opened up. Right, right, exactly. I am truly with you on this. Coming back to your company, oh, what are the major challenges as an entrepreneur you faced at the initial of years of your company? Um, I was way ahead of my time. I was a very well-traveled kid. Uh, when I was small, I would go to Disneyland, Universal Studios. I would see 4D, eat my first pizza when I was 13 years old. And... When I was 23 years old, I ate the first pizza in India, which was Domino's. <laughs> so I realized that everything comes to India in 10 odd years. A decade takes for technology to come to India. For a movie to launch in India, a movie would be launched later on. All the services will come late. So I was like, okay, I don't have a tree which is growing me money. But that doesn't mean that... I stopped striving for it. So when I chose this idea, I was way ahead of my time. So when I was talking about custom painting a MacBook or an iPad or an iPhone, India did not even see mug printing or t-shirt printing at that point of time. Right. So nobody, I, I was that guy who was talking about flying cars 30 years back. So I was dissed upon, I was not oh, taken yeah. seriously by my friends, by my family, by my extended family, by people that I met. If I have met 10,000 people in my life, 9,999 people said this will not work. Oh my God. And then it was not about me doing this out of love, passion or anything. My passion became my 
drive in regards to, okay, I will prove you all wrong. And that was my drive. I have been bankrupt four times in my company. I still managed to continue it. I could have done something else. I could have worked in an ad agency today. I could have earned very flashily. Uh, I would have been very good with being a creative director somewhere. But the kind of aspects that I learn in entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship does not guarantee you success in any possible way, but it definitely guarantees you wisdom, knowledge, information, tools, how to even use it, and it matures you up like anybody's business. So true. So true. So what are the things you personally feel you should have worked on as a person at an early age, which you have de uh, developed over time working? I was, I was an artist. Okay. In school, I would make posters, drawings, sketch artists. I was an artist. Mm -hmm. Artists don't think like business. They, they believe in building things. They believe an artist cannot sell himself also. And I never found somebody who could sell my work. So I had to learn business myself. <laughs> now, the only thing I realized was, so I, I studied in a school where we had, I, was, I studied in a Christian school, okay? So we had this subject about moral education. <laughs> <laughs> it was so embedded. And when I came out of school and I started looking around, India specifically for 25 years, 30 years, we made our money with trading. And we forgot about building. And I never wanted to do a business or any job or anything that was affected by a variability that was not in my hand. So I started building on something that I could have a control on. Mm -hmm. But keeping that thought in mind, I saw people were ready to pull somebody down rather than push themselves to grow further with innovation. Mm -hmm. I saw that happening. So I could have done a lot. To be very honest, now I look back, I could have done a lot in terms of understanding business, in terms of understanding accounts, specifically accounts. I was never an account student. Uh, I was a science student. So if you're doing business, so if you're doing business, I think you need to have a knack for business, first of all. Don't be like me, where you are an artist and you're trying to do business. I have this saying, a graphic designer cannot open a graphic designing company because the graphic designer will end up doing almost everything else in his life rather than designing. Uh -huh. He'll do BD, he'll do organizing, <laughs> he'll do accounts, he'll do softwares, he'll do research, he'll do everything else. So specifically, we are a society, right? We, we, somebody has to be a farmer, somebody has to be a consumer, somebody has to be this, somebody has to be that in order to survive. Similarly, like everybody talks about be an entrepreneur. Uh, I don't need friends, I'm a friend of myself. There are a lot of memes uh -huh. that are around. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, you can't do anything alone. You cannot. You need to find pillars for yourself. Be good to people around because they could be somebody who could help you out. Fill a void that you don't understand. And I wish I could have learned these things before in my life where I could have made better relationships. Mm -hmm. I could have understood business like a business and not like a dream. I would have been more sensible about no matter how much money you have, even if you have 10 rupees or 10,000 rupees or 10 lakh rupees, efficiently spend it across. Efficiency is the key for it. You can't just splurge out money because as entrepreneurs, you have to be sensible about everything. Right. So that sensibility came to me very, very late as compared to what I could have been before. Mm -hmm. It also depends on the kind of environment that you're in, the father that you are, uh, you have who's teaching you business, who's teaching you X, Y, Z. 
whatever they tell you is actually good. I should have listened to my parents, but their language was very different. So I rebelled about it. You don't have to be a rebel. You listen to it as a suggestion and digest it according to at your own terms. Do it that way. You don't have to rebel. You will understand things why he said it and why is it important today. So whatever he has gone through, listen to your parents, man. I, I think I'm the first guy who would say this. Um, but yeah, these, these small, small things could have saved me at least seven to eight years of my life. Easily. Right. So uh, I guess we all have a journey and at an age, at a certain age group, we all become rebellious to our parents. So we have a mentality now. We are independent now. We don't have to listen to our parents and we can make our own decisions. I'm, I am uh, grown up enough to survive myself. So this mentality stucks us, stucks us in a cycle, which is not never ending. Yeah, I agree. And you know what? The world is out there to eat you, man. The okay. family is the only, only thing that is going to support you no matter how, how much you fall. Mm -hmm. Being a rebel is like a, like a trend. It is because of the lack of communication because he doesn't know you're growing up in school, what kind of friends you're hanging out with, what kind of people do you meet, what kind of information are you getting? They don't know. You think you know more? Yes, you do according to the new age, yes. But they know things that you don't even know about. You can either take advantage of it and sit with your parents and say, hey, what did you learn in this? Get a, get a knowledge, use it as you want to. You are absolutely at your discretion on this. But communication has to be solved by communicating. Right. It cannot be solved any other way. And you will grow up. You will have a family of your own. And your kid is going to re repeat this entire thing again. So you want to go through this. You go through this at your own terms. No problem. But you will come back. You will miss them. You would like to spend some time with them when they're old. So just communicate, man. It's, it's very important. So everybody watching this video right now, a small tip from Ankush, either learn right now or maybe regret later. I, I don't think so. They will regret this, but they will miss it because then you can't rewind. Of course. Yes. So Ankush, what are the things you sh you think uh, a aspirant, an entrepreneur uh, who want, who, they should develop a future uh, entrepreneur or maybe a student who dreams of getting his own startup someday. What are the things, what are the skill set? what are the mindset he should develop? There is no right answer for this. Uh -huh. There is absolutely no right answer, but I'll tell you mine, okay? Uh -huh. um, I was always a dreamy guy. I would dream huge. I would dream big, but not in terms of money, power, or uh, fame, no, not, not on those terms because those are all byproducts. Where do I wanna see myself is the biggest thing. And I promise you, I don't want to be the richest guy on this earth, but I wanna be the coolest guy on earth, right? So my, my aspiration came in that whatever you guys are doing for yourself, do it like you're doing it for yourself and nobody else. So everyone will have a different statement to it. This was mine. Mm -hmm. Right. Excellent, Ankush. So where should one begin from? Any tips you want to become a role model for some? If you want, if you were given an option to become a role model for someone or an inspiration for someone, what is the one thing you would tell them to begin with? Begin with information. Mm -hmm. Any day you want to do anything, information, dig, dig as much as you can, be educated about it. You will not know everything 
the acceptance to the information that comes from your neighbor, from your father, from your friend, from somebody you just randomly met. Mm -hmm. these, these things are going to change the way you think. These things are going to change the way you act on something. These things will make you more stable because now you have more information. Okay, let me give you an example. Um, exam. You know the paper, it is damn easy. You don't know the paper, you can write questions 10 times and still get to nothing about it. So information, nothing else. You can run after money, you can run after every byproduct, but every byproduct is not the lead of it, information is the lead of it. Okay, so we have come up to the end of the video. One line of motivation you would tell to all the viewers watching this video. Logic, consistency, information, how to use it, be at it. Don't give up because the more you throw at yourself something hard, it makes you more stronger. And take, listen to everybody, just do your, do your stuff. <laughs> do your stuff nicely, that's all. So insightful and filled with wonderful and mind-blowing insights of your own company. Very much important for all the future entrepreneurs watching this video right now. I had personally a wonderful time chit-chatting with you, Ankush. Thank you so much for being on the it show. All mine. I truly appreciate the time you gave us from your busy schedule. And I remember when we first spoke and I shared the idea and the objective of the video, you just didn't took a second thought about it and you just said yes, yes. i am in that dream I, you look in a person people will take you as an inspiration fingers crossed <laughs> you well, are what? Um, yes yes sorry um when you told me about this i never get, got an opportunity to hear anybody like this that time youtube was not that great people were not very very cool with video recordings or talking to people i wish i had this time you guys have it it is blissful you get information from every corner of things um i and i wanted to make sure that i could save you time it was very important for me to share this out mm -hmm. i've spent 15 years on this i'm still at it i'm gonna go another 20 years on this i don't care how this happens but if I could save you even a year in your life, um, it would help you build whatever you want much, much faster. That's a thought process, which is changing lives today. And people like you are becoming mentors of students like us. Ankush, I had a wonderful time and I'm damn sure people are going to love this video. They're going to be so much thankful for you, to you for your... Okay time and contribution and all the efforts you have given to this video thank you so very much pleasure is all mine thank you for having me girl. thank, thank you, you uncle see you super soon bye-bye take care absolutely bye-bye take care